Hey, Netflix, can you hear me now? Verizon, the big phone company, famous for that tagline, announced on Monday morning it was doing an online video streaming partnership with Coinstar, the company that owns the Redbox DVD rental kiosk service. Now, Coinstar suspiciously made this announcement on Monday morning, even though they were going to be announcing earnings after the bell. And that led a lot of people to wonder, uh-oh, maybe Coinstar needed to get the good news out because earnings are going to be really awful. Guess what? Sometimes conspiracy theories are silly because Coinstar reported fantastic numbers. Their guidance was really good. The stock is surging on Tuesday as a result. I spoke with Coinstar CEO Paul Davis on Monday about the deal with Verizon and what that would mean for Redbox going forward. You know, Verizon brings the technology, the access to digital content, and then millions and millions of consumers. Well, what we bring to the party is 35,000 kiosk, 30 million consumers, and a consumer that's very, very loyal. When you look at a company like Coinstar, it's a fascinating firm right now. They really have done a pretty admirable job, even though they have had earnings warnings here and there, of getting to the kind of bargain consumer. I mean, when you think about it, not everyone wants to spend a couple of dollars a month on a streaming service. They may just want a dollar DVD for a couple of nights. And if there's any way that they can turn that kind of you know, bargain hunter type mentality into a good, cheap streaming service with Verizon, maybe they will have some success with it. There's still a lot of mysteries. We don't know what the service is going to be called, but this could be yet another new tough competitor for Netflix, who's already dealing with the likes of Hulu and Amazon and Apple. So keep your eye on Coinstar. I think they will continue to be a, a force to be reckoned with in this, uh, in this area. And who knows, maybe one day Coinstar will finally pull a target Dayton Hudson, if you will, and rename the corporate company Redbox. I don't understand why they're still going with the Coinstar name when you consider that the DVD business is what generates most of the revenue and profits right now.